sustainable curriculum is a part of the climate plan at here at Leeds, where we're working on embedding sustainability within all courses at university. So that by the time a student graduates, they've had the opportunity to engage in all sorts of different themes of sustainability, regardless of the subject that they're studying. I think it's fantastic. I think that uh, climate change is one of the most pressing issues that we're experiencing right now. So that the university shares those values that I know a lot of students do is great. So I'm what's called a Student Sustainability Architect and it's a really amazing scheme that the Sustainability Service set up to provide um, a number of students with the opportunity to engage with um, a sustainability project on campus and that covers loads of different themes and mine specifically is helping with woodland creation at the new university site that's called Garewood. So Garewood is a woodland that the university is currently planting. It's um, a massive uh, site that the university owns between here and Otley uh, in North Leeds. From a research perspective, to have this amazing resource that students and staff can go on to use for many, many decades to come as the woodland evolves and we can carry out lots of different research there, both social and physical sciences. But also for the local community, we want to make sure that this woodland becomes publicly accessible when it's established and hopefully we can host some nice community events there to bring people together. It's been really rewarding. It's nice to have like a few days a week that I had the opportunity to go to the woodland and have a break from my desk and my computer screen and to be around other people that felt like they were making a positive difference to nature. The Student Sustainability Architect have a huge range of roles. Uh, my particular role was the organisation and delivery of the Student Sustainability Research Conference. It's been going for years now, way before I joined university. And it's a way for students to present their research, which is a unique opportunity, really. Um, I got the opportunity to present my dissertation to a theatre with 320 capacity. I thought that I would be terrified standing in front of all of the people that I presented to, but I was super relaxed. and. The fact that I had such positive experience with that translated so well into things like job interviews. It's helped me with my academic work, um, my employment, it's really beneficial. I think art has a really important part to play in climate change. My art project, Notes to Nature, originated from my reflection of what I could do in the fine art building to reduce waste. And it started with me like doing a bit of an investigation into what materials got thrown away the most, and paper was the number one. So I collected all the scraps, turned it back into sheets of paper, and embedded seeds into the process. And I took these seed paper to the conference for people to write any notes, experiences, memories, when you're learning about climate change, it can be quite a daunting experience um, when you're hit with the hard facts and figures. So I really wanted this project to um, be a place for people to write and express how they were feeling and get to grips with how they can um, make a change in their own little worlds. And hopefully that ripples out to, <laughs> to everywhere else. <laughs> Something that is really important is to have an interdisciplinary approach um, where scientists can work with artists, artists can work with chefs, chefs can work with teachers. Like, I think we all have these skills and once we start bringing them together, we'll start moving forward. I think for me it's really important that university recognises its responsibility to address climate crisis in, in a formal way. The sustainable curriculum should be the most important part of our education because we have so much to learn and still so much to put into practice. That's why it's so interesting and important to be working on these sort of projects to see how you know different people can contribute with their different expertise and it's just yeah very enriching experience. The best benefit for me as a student is having this outlet where I can make um, a positive difference and, and feel like there's, there's a way I can get involved. Not only that, but you know, coming away with something that you can feel really, really proud of.